My name is Venti B and I'm from Lao Chai village. My hometown is a very small village. From Sapa is around seven kilometers. Traditional Hmong people live around here. We have a clove, like indigo February, we have a rice paddy, and we have a local food. Around 20 years ago, we don't have a lot of tourists come to the village, and our life more difficult. We see other people to homestay, and the traditional culture, I think the guests like to see, so we see other village, and we want to try to homestay too. Around four years ago, we had friends at the country teach and show the people business with the homestay. Now my village is changing. I think the tourists are helping a lot. People around the village, they sell patik and they living better. We can make the tourists sticky rice and now we have homestay in Lao Chai village. My homestay opened five or six months ago. I only have few people. I think the guests like it. Today we're preparing, we're training, and we learn a lot. At 11.30 a.m., you're going to be making your way to the Mountain View Hotel, and that's where your first meeting is at 2 o'clock. So you have to be ready to go. All your stuff. We had like 11 people go to see the tour operator in Hanoi. So we have a meeting with EXO Travel. So we went to go many different offices and we had to try to sell the village in the homestay in Lao Chai area here. We helped to see if our company are able to send more people. It's very important for my village. Most of the ladies have never been to Hanoi, so it's very different. Ah, I'm too scared! To meet the tour company is very scary. Thank you to welcome us to here. My name is Ha, and I'm from Lao Chai Village. In the meeting, we're talking about homestays, trekking tours, and our traditional culture. I think it's quite interesting for the tour operator and we also learn a lot from them too. Some company want to help. She asked the question like how much the food for dinner, how much for the guys, and she asked to take picture of the view. Everything has to be perfect and clean. Whoever do it, gets straight away. That's what she said. For the tour operator to listen to us, we are very, very lucky. We are confident the tour company will help our village and we're very happy for that. We come to Hanoi. It's not only to meet the tour company. We also want to learn about the tours. So the first day we stay in the normal hotel and then we move to the big resort. And the last night we go to the Packer horse store. So we will try to learn the difference between the resort, the hostel, and our homestay. For two nights, we stay in the Sapitel Metropole. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. My friend just like, oh, I'm scared to stay here. We say maybe we're not sleeping in the bed, we sleep in the floor. Too nice for us. The server tell us to go to see the biggest room. Here for full time in this room. Very nice room. And we're just like, oh, where's that? <laughs> we also bring handicraft to sell in the night market. So we sell many things last night. After we get a chance to see the tallest buildings I have seen in my life. 
the mall is a lot of fun. All my friends, we just like watch it. It's so beautiful. To be a tourist, I think it's very, very nice. It's just another world. It's the biggest fish I have seen in my life. And it's very, very big, maybe bigger than me. I think that fish look very nice, but also could be very tasty. One day, I wish I was able to try. I think Hanoi is such a big, big city for me. It's very crazy. I love it, but it's a different way of living. Because you're living in your country, you are very lucky. You have chance to study, you can go travel, and I think it's many, many different things to see. Maybe one day I work very hard, save some money, and I can be a tourist too. I'm very happy to see gay coming to my village. People like me get to make a homestay and earn money. It's a better life. The young people go to school, they go to a city. Now the children have more education, but I want to teach them to still keep the culture. If we don't keep our traditional culture, we will lose it. I hope more tourists will discover my village. I think they want to see the nature, they want to see the beauty in my village but also they want to see the Hmong culture traditional. So I hope in the future, my people will keep the culture. It's important for the people in my village. Thank